Thank you. Chair, thanks. The gentleman now recognizes Mr. Good from Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to our witnesses. We used an athletic analogy a few moments ago. It's not that they're on offense and we're on defense. We're actually running plays for the other team. I've been to the border three times in my first year, twice uh, with you, Mr. Judd, led by our former chairman, Mr. Biggs. And the last time I was there, we had a shooting at the border while we were there, and we met with a rancher family who had lost a family member to an illegal alien because of a border invasion. There's other important issues we talk about, and to Mr. Roy's point a few moments ago, the harm that is done from this issue is irreparable. All the resources, as we learned today, and we continue to uh, message on this issue, all the resources committed by this administration to the border is to facilitate, to help the purposeful, willful invasion of our border. There's nothing being committed to try to help mitigate or to stop the situation. We hear about our border czar says we're going to discover a root cause. Well, the root cause is American exceptionalism. We're the best place in the world to live, and everybody wants to come here. That's at least causing the demand. Of course, we know our lack of policies, our lack of law and order is the reason why the, uh, the, we're incentivizing what's happening there at the border. Carried to its logical conclusion, this administration, these current policies will bring America carried to its logical conclusion, God forbid this president was president longer than four years, would bring America down to the level of these countries that are invading our border with the help of our very own administration. And we all know it's not a question of what to do in terms of policy, it's what to do about a president who by his actions is declaring war on his own country. Never in the history of the country has our own president done more to harm the United States, and this president has done just for this issue alone in his first year. Rasmussen, this is shocking to me to see that the country is realizing this, released a report just recently that 50% of the country now supports the impeachment of Joe Biden. Many of us have already signed on to impeachment articles because of the border. Uh, Mr. Benzman. Uh, you shared in your testimony about the psychologists that are being employed by the UN-funded Migrant Advocacy Center who are working with illegal aliens to recover repressed memories uh, to solidify these fraudulent eligibility claims for asylum. Can you speak a little bit further to that issue? What's going on with these uh, these? these UN-funded psychologists who are actively coaching these illegal aliens on how to navigate our system? Sure. At the moment, there is a, a binational agreement between the Biden administration and the Obrador government to slow roll the incoming migrants at their southern border with Guatemala so that it appears as though fewer are making it to our border. The result is, and what they do is they require that incoming migrants apply for Mexican asylum or hardship uh, papers or some other residency uh, with which they then are able to move north to northern provinces. Uh, what happens, though, is thousands are backing up behind this bureaucratic wall down there in uh, Chiapas. And in order to get the asylum grant from the Mexican government right now, uh, if you go in there and say, I am just trying to go to the United States to get a job, they'll turn you down. These organizations that I found down there are helping them turn the no into a quick yes by, according to uh, them, you know, putting psychologists on the case to help them remember, you know, traumatic events that they couldn't remember the first time. They're also, they tell me, training ahead of time, first time asylum seekers for Mexico uh, in what not to say and what to say. Uh, so that when they, and they, there are, there, I was told that American lawyers are also down there helping with the training. Uh, this is um, enabling thousands more asylum seekers, American asylum seekers, and I put that in big quotation marks because very few of them are actually eligible for U.S. asylum or even Mexican asylum. 
uh, to keep going to the uh, to our border. And then, you know, with these new memories and with these stories, I'm sure, uh, you know, they've practiced, they'll probably tell our credible fear interviewers with USCIS uh, the same stories. Well, th thank you for sharing this with us. My time's expired. I did not know about that until your testimony, but it's not surprising the UN doesn't care about American sovereignty when our own president doesn't care about it. But thank you, Mr. Benzman. Here, thanks, the gentleman and chair.